Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Learn Service Now from Zero till at once in English version. So in the today's topic, we are going to see how to create our brand new tables in ServiceNow. Those are called custom tables in ServiceNow, which is not given by ServiceNow. So if you have not watched this, the previous videos, you can go back and check the link in the description below and even you can check on the i button. So before we get started, I have changed this UI to the next experience UI. You can also change this by going to the properties and disable it. The polish part, enable it the polish part. So if it is disabled, make it enable. And for this, I have made a small video just for four minutes. You can watch that video too, so that you will get better insight how to change your UI to the next experience UI. So let's get started. When you are on service now page, click on all and let me pin this. Okay. Now we are going to create our own brand new table. And as I mentioned in all the classes, everything in service now is table. You just type here tables. Once you type tables, scroll up. You have to find system definition. See system definitions, tables, tables, columns, decision table, there are a lot of tables available. Where you have to go system definition and table. You have to make this as a favorite so that it will go and sit under the favorite section. Over here, it will sit system definition table. So it's your wish. If you want to make this as a favorite, you can make it favorite or you can remove it. You just open this table. And what you will notice on my service now instance, I have around 4,478 tables. Maybe it will be more or less same on your instance. Let me create a new table on service now instance. Now these are the already existing tables. How to create a new table? Just click on the new button. Once you click on the new button, you will notice a record is displayed in front of your screen, which is asking you label, name, extended table, lot of things are there. We'll discuss one by one. So let me create a label. The label name is, let's say, student, okay, student database. Okay. Now what you notice, if I type student database, if I click outside, you will notice name will be automatically populating. See, you underscore student database and here is a catch. And the most asked interview question, how you are so sure that the table is your own table, custom table or service now is created. So when you see a prefix with you, it means that user has created, it is defined by the user. But if you open any other table where you don't have you, it means that it was created either by the system or by service now itself. So let me show you. Let me go back. Let me open the table. List view. Now see there is no u underscore. There is no u underscore. It's just type incident. Okay. See there is no u underscore. It's only incident is showing up. So what does this mean? It means that it is created long back. When it was created, you can bring this from the cock button. Click here and just bring created. One more thing guys. Let me know in the comment section you want me to teach you in the old UI or the new UI. Please comment me out. I will do according to that. So you can see it was created two months ago when I have this instance up. So the new instance. So it was created. So it is not created by me. Obviously, it is not created by me because it is an incident table which is coming out of the box. Let me close this. Now even notice it start with U underscore. So what will happen? If I save it without doing anything on this part, you will notice over here, six column will be created by default. I am repeating. So when you create a label, when you create, it will automatically create. And when I save it right now, what you will notice, let me copy this first. What you will notice, six column by default created. Always, always remember, this is coming by default in service now. And what are those six columns? See, six columns are created. Created by who is creating the table? Created on which date? Updated. Updated by the updates. And the most important part is your sys ID. System ID. What is this sys ID? This is a 30, 32 digit ID. So basically, this sys ID represent uniqueness of the report. Record. So every record has its own unique sys ID. No two record has the same society. It's like a primary key. 
so if somebody from that skill background they will easily understand what is means by primary key if somebody is from non it background or non technical background primary key means over like like a bank user id can we have the same user id bank uh, let's say you are having the same user id and i have the same user id no it's not at all possible so every user has their unique user id so same thing over here is id for this table the society will be unique for example how to find society just go to the url and check society equal to and notice c60 till here and if you count this this is 32 digit okay now let me open any other table let me open for example this table and what you will notice this society start with 73f but this start with c60 it means that these two tables are different so this id act as a unique identifier or a primary key or to find which record is unique which table is unique we will use always this id so you can notice here we have only six records created and we can create our own new column over here but this is the way which we are going to create table but I'll, what i'll do is i will delete this and i will show you one more time how to do this so just type your delete button the table is deleted now from our service now table database okay and table deleted now again i am clicking on new button and let me create again the same thing okay <clears throat> a student data database okay now here's the concept called extend table what is this concept and the very important concept guys and a very ask interview questions from here what is this extend table means it means that if I put any table name over here, which is already existing. So let me open that table. These are the list of tables. And if it is extendable, if I can extend this table, extend is nothing but I am just seeking the property of my parent to the child. I am just getting the property from there. So extend table means if I use any table over here, all the property of that table will be coming up on my student database now in this case student database will become my child so if i use any table here that will be a parent and this will be the child and remember in service now the parent table is for itsm is your task T A S K. if i search here task you will see there's a table called task which is a parent for your itsm incident problem change and you can say ITSM suits we have that table called task similarly for CMDB we have CMDB similarly uh, that's uh, other module service now and that if somebody is using CMDB concept they will easily understand what is CMDB so their table name is CMDB so remember this is the base table for service now and this is the direct ask question interview I'll show you right away so just type here service now interview question and open anything for example I'm opening this and just type here control f task see which is the parent table for incident change problem this is the task table so remember guys task table is a parent table table for your incident problem change or even itsm suits okay so if i give task what will happen what will happen so let's open the task first yeah so if i open the task you will notice there are 70 columns created by service now out of the box these tables are called out of the box out of the box means a table which is already existing in service now which user has not created if you have created it will be uh prefix with u underscore so extend table if i put task and if i save it you will notice all those 70 records will be created plus one extra record it means that here we have 71 record see 71 record can you just assume why we have 71 record it should be 70 why we have one extra and there is a concept coming up as i mentioned in my just now five minutes back i mentioned when you create a table a society will get created so similarly over here for this table society is created now the society of the task table also will be coming up over here so let me search this just click on this search icon and just type here sys star sys 
Okay. You will notice there are two society. And which is from which I don't know. So what I will do? I will click on this personalized list. This will we have discussed in our list and form filter view. How we can personalize our settings. Now I will bring the table from here. Correct. Let me bring the table right here. Okay. Now you will notice one is from the task table coming up. One is from the student database coming up. So remember on this table we are we are on a student database and this is our SysID. But this SysID is coming from the task table. So remember when you extend any table this SysID will also come on your table. And all the properties will be extended. All the property in the sense all the columns will get extended. So there are 70 plus 1 column. And all these columns see active active due are coming from the task table. See all are coming from the task table. So this is the concept of parent and child. So if you have a parent, you you inherited the property of your obviously parent. You are the child of your parent. You will have some property of your parent for sure. If parent is not there, for example, parent dies, the child become orphan. In this case, if the task is not there, student database will not exist. So in this case, always remember parent child means parent will give the property to their child. And that is called your extend table. So this is student database extend. This student database extend the columns of task. Okay. Now we have 70 columns over here. Very true. Okay. So remember this concept. And why I am able to extend task. So for to answer this question, we need to go to the task table. And on the task table, we have control section. Even over here also we have control section. You will notice it is checked already. So extensible, it means that, see, you can read this, allow other table to extend this table. If you don't check this box, the other table will not be extended. For example, let me show you. Let's say I want to extend your student database. Okay. Uh, let me go and create a new table. Again, just for demo. Uh, demo. Let's go table, for example. Now here I am searching student database, which I have created. Will I be able to find that table? Not at all. Why? See, invalid reference. The reason is this student database in this part, I have not checked this. This is extensible, not extensible. If I check this and save it now, for example, okay, now I'll go back. Now if I search over here, click student database. It's coming up. It means that if you don't make your table extensible, nobody can extend your table. So remember this concept, extensible concept and extend concept. So first of all, let me close this. Now we don't need task column. We are 71 column. We have extensible and then you can have this option called auto number. So on my table, I can generate my auto number. So what I will do is let not extend task table. Let make as table as a unique table. So in this case, let me delete this again and let me create the table again. So I hope you have understood this concept for the parent child concept in service now and how the tables are being extended. Let me close this. Let me click on new button. And now let the uh, student database. Okay, I am not giving any table name. Right? Now come to the right hand side, application global. So I will talk about this in the later class, what is called global application. Basically global means it is available to all the users. Every users can use it and it is globally available. Basically in application, we have custom application. We have uh, global application. Global application available to everyone. Custom application is not available to everyone. It is only available to different users, different scope. I'll talk about this, this global part. Over here, sorry, application scope global. And you will notice I have a lot of applications available over here. So I'll not use it as of now. I'll come back to this when we create our own application. So let me close this window first. Okay, now you have this option called create modules, create mobile modules. What are on this? Create modules is nothing but see, you are seeing these modules available, correct? These are called modules only. These are called modules only. If you want to create the modules over here, so that if I type student, database i said see this so you need to check this option called create module and if you are using from phone you can use 
check this option so that in the mobile view also it will be available. Now there's an option called add module. What should be the name? So list the name will be student database. That's it. Let me save it. So what gets created? Six records will get created. Six columns will get created. Yeah, six columns will get created automatically. And now module will also get created. If I refresh the page and type student database, so you will notice my module is created. Let me show you. Yeah, S2U, D, and student. See, my module is created. Now you cannot change your module. See, it's gone. Once the table is created, you cannot change the module. You cannot change your parent concept. You have to delete it and then do it again. So better do decide first and then create it. Now, if I open this table, you will notice. See, student database is there, but no columns, extra columns are created. It is coming by default, that six columns and all that. It's coming by default over here, created, created by. So I will create my own table. I have created my own table. You will notice the table name is u underscore database and the label is a student database. That's what I am telling you since day one that this is the label and this is the table name. And now I hope you are clear on this. Just click on new and you can see there is no record available. There is no column available. Let me create it one. So let's go back. Okay, let's click on new and let's create one column. And when I'm going to create one column, first of all, I need to choose a type. If you remember on the day two, when I discussed about list form filter, or I remember when I created a user, I have told you about the types, string box, reference box, choice box. I think I have noted it down. Let me check which part I noted down. Uh, I don't have. So maybe I have deleted it. No problem. So types. There are a lot of types available in service now. String box, choice box. So let me select any type. Let me type here reference. Okay. What is the meaning of reference? As I told you, if I go to the user table, you will remember now. If we go to the users. And here you will notice if I click on new, you will notice this magnifying glass. If you remember, this magnifying glass is used to get the reference by click here it is taking me to the department table but we are at the user table this is called reference box so let me create this reference box what i have to do is i have to use the type reference and the column name is let's say student name okay and this is just the label guys and if i click outside again u underscore student underscore name will be coming up automatically so this will be the backend name always remember backend name is very important when we read about it in the upcoming session we will be only using backend name. Okay. You can provide the max length also. Now, once, once you notice, if I use a type reference, then only this uh, section is coming up. If I don't type reference, just I am typing string, for example. See, this, this option is gone. It means that on reference, we have one extra section called reference specification where there is a mandatory field. If I click here, you will get a reference. Now it is asking you from which table you want to take the reference. Obviously, you are part of service now and you are logging to service now. It means that the reference should be from the user table. Remember this concept, guys. Without having an account on Amazon or Flipkart or any platform, you will not be able to do anything. For example, take example of Hotstar. Will you be able to watch the cricket without having, without signing? Maybe for five minutes, maybe for 10 minutes you can. But if you see the shopping platform without login, you will not be able to order the product. Earlier, we used to get this option called login as guest. But now that is not there. So it means that I want the student name. Means there will be a user database. From there only, I will pick, pick the student name. So we have users. So we have user star. Okay, just type here user. Yeah, system user, see, sys user, open it. Now, just save it. Save. Now, this record is saved and you will notice on my table, which I have created over here, student database, if I refresh the page, a student name is coming up with a magnifying glass. And if I click on magnifying glass, I am on the user table, but currently we are on the student database table. If I click here, 
he is my you student so this box is called reference box that's what i am telling on the day one that is this kind of a boxes are called reference box if you have not checked that video i will give the link in the description what are the types uh string box date and time choices now you can make that field mandatory also let me save it what you will notice a star mark over here if you make it mandatory it will be star mark see it means that if i submit it i will get an error the following mandatory fields is not filled obviously it is mandatory field you can make it mandatory now this is one type what you will notice over here there is a one more option called this read only and the display it only means if i make this read only this will be graded out i cannot do any changes let me show you read only save it and if press the page it will be grayed out obviously it's not making sense to make this field grayed out so i will ignore this let's make it mandatory now it will be mandatory now what you will notice there's one extra field called display what does this mean i am so sure that there are very few uh, people who will be explaining you this display field because they don't know the concept display means you can see on the top there is an option written create created so what does this mean why it is coming create created so guys on your service now table there will be only one field by default true display to true that is your created date let me show you let me go to the table so just type here tables open this tables and just type here uh, just short it by created date this is my student database open that table and just display false 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 everything is false and you will notice by default created will be set on the top that's why we have a created so if i make student name as display true what will happen see saving it fine just refresh the page okay now it is showing you new record if i type any name let's say this person save it you will notice his name is coming up on the top so that name will be displaying on your tab title so when you make this display to true this tab title will always display the name which you have given and you can have only one field true in your table you cannot have more than one field as per best practice because service now will confuse which one to pick for example let me show you it is true now let's make uh update it true what will happen go back and refresh the page see nothing is happening but there had true fields so in this case what will happen guys always remember don't make one more than one field as a display true always make only one field which you want to show to the user on their front end on their front end over here okay so this concept is called display now let me create one more column so this is student name let's say student address go back to your table and click on new again to create a new column so i'm creating a new again i will give you one shortcut also now use the type called string okay column label let's say uh, student address that's it let's make it mandatory and just save it go back to our table refresh the page you will notice we have a student address now and i can type whatever i want and this is called single line text or a string box this is called your reference box so that's all for today when we meet in the next session of the table part 2 where we'll see all the types whatever is required i will make that table very beautified so let's talk that in the next session else this video will be pretty long so we'll meet you in the next session till then you can go and watch the previous recording and you can even do the practice on the same thank you so much guys